Hello and welcome back to another behind the scenes video photo shoot here on Light Stories. This time we're doing a portfolio build photo shoot with model Satara Feria. So let's get into it. Firstly, I want to thank everybody for their comments and feedback from the last video, and I shall try and add a little bit more information as we go through this one. So Satara, yes, at the time, this was just after lockdown, so it was two or three years ago, uh, she was earnestly building her portfolio and we had discussed doing a shoot when lockdown finished. So it was November time. The weather was, as usual in November, very unpredictable. Uh, but we chose to meet halfway at Batsford Arboretum, which is a beautiful arboretum just outside Norton, Morton in the Marsh in the Cotswolds. And we were fairly lucky with the weather as it turned out. So as always, I sent her a mood board to work from for an idea of the range of expressions it, uh, that we were looking for and atmospheres I was hoping to create. And she duly arrived with her mum, Helen, and uh, we could, I could tell straight away that she was a very uh, serious person earnestly looking to build and get signed by a major agency as soon as possible. So she was keen, she was enthusiastic, she was blessed with wonderful hair, uh, Mediterranean complexion and a really good attitude. So uh, w I was looking forward to the shoot straight away. So let's get into it. <music> So we were fairly lucky with the weather to start off with. The, the sun was shining. Uh, it was a crisp day and the first big tree that we came across was this beautiful red Acer. And Satara was great. She got straight into it. And as you can see from the results, really did start working on the expressions and what we were trying to achieve, really using the leaves as a defocus and bokeh as the pictures were taken. We then moved over to a sort of a golden maple area where a lot of leaves had fallen, as you can see. And the, we, we were lucky, the weather was still looking very promising. However, uh, just in case the sun went in, I did pop up a, a flash on a stand behind. Um, but as uh, it turned out, I didn't need it for this particular section. Uh, so I relied totally on the old Lasterlite Tri reflector. And I have to say, it is a marvelous little piece of kit because as you can see, when I turn it back and forward, it has two tones of silver gold mix on each side of the reflector. And uh, it was just a case of finding the right one to suit Satara's skin. But I was really pleased with some of these images. At this stage, the weather started to get a bit dull, uh, so we moved across to this particular tree for some more portraits. And uh, The hat obviously would work beautifully in the sunshine, but the sun just started to go in. However, it, we sort of pulled it off and, and did a bit of a, a mix of some with hats and without. And then we moved over to, I think it's a Canadian oak, and really pulled off some super portraits in here. So Sahara got stuck straight into the leaves and really did grasp the, the concept of what I was trying to achieve. The 
then it was a case of wandering the rest of the Arboretum, really. Uh, it was late in autumn, as you can see, and the weather was, was dull. It maintained dull, but at least it didn't, didn't rain. So I tried to make most of these fallen leaves on this bank, and Helen helped holding the softbox just for a gentle bit of fill-in light. One of the things about working at an arboretum is you have to time it just right for the conditions of the actual foliage to make sure it's looking bright and healthy as opposed to dull grey and soggy. And we just caught it right at this time at Batsford. But generally Batsford's a lovely place to visit pretty well any time of year. So what are the three things we can take away from a shoot like this? Well, firstly, I would suggest the model brings a range of clothes, uh, non pattern so plain clothes really in a range of colours if possible, uh, because you never know what sort of foliage you're going to see and it would be good to either complement or contrast it. Secondly, plan for the worst, hope for the best. Um, I always take a reflector and in this case I took a flash because I wanted some backlit port um, images. Uh, as you can see, I didn't really need it for the backlight, but it did help for a little bit of fill later on. And finally, an assistant is always a great help in every way, whether it's taking some behind the scenes pictures, videos, uh, helping with the model, changing and uh, carrying bags, etc., uh, etc. Et so that's really good. Um, at the end of this result, well, Sotara left me a lovely reference, and uh, which you can see over on the Light Stories website. And I left her with best part of 100 pictures, uh, some of which are still on her portfolio now. And it allowed her or encouraged her or supported her, whatever you want to use, to get signed by a couple of agencies. She's now signed by Atlantis Model Agency and Model Talent UK. And I'll put the links in the bio. So I'd uh, just like to say thanks to everybody involved really, thanks to Satara for coming along and being a good sport and, and proving to, to be a great model and it's no wonder that she's gone on to bigger and better things. Thanks to her mum of course for being supporting in every way as mums do and thanks to Batsford Arboretum for well having a fabulous location for shoots. Thoroughly recommended if you're a nature photographer or you want to do some portraits. So that's me this time. Please like, subscribe and share if you wish to do so. I look forward to reading any comments below. And until next time, take care and enjoy your photography. Bye for now. Yeah.